we have the environment ready for our hands on. So here we have the project folder and the tableau software. So first open the project folder where we have all the required documents here. Here we have the encrypted data folder and the output data folder. Output data folder is a place where we need to save all our output files from the tableau from tableau workbook. And this is the workbook where we need to perform hands on. And this is the order data, which is a sample data to work on and the problem statement. So by reading the problem statement, we need to perform the hands on part. OK, open the problem statement. It takes a couple of uh, minutes to load. And then we need to open the hack book as well. You have the problem statement ready. Okay, the first part is to register uh, a trial version from the hackbook. Just double click on the hackbook. Takes a it takes few minutes to load. So in dark. After loading, it asks you for the registration for the trial part. Just give some random details that will work. Give some random details that, that will be fine. So when the software is ready, first first and foremost thing we need to do is to connect our data. We have a sample data set given in the project folder. So just click on the connect to data. Click on more. Desktop we have, we have the project folder on the desktop. Just navigate. So this is the folder we have, orders.data. Just click on open. So it will take a while to load. So please wait. Okay, the data set is ready. Now let's start creating sheets. So at the bottom you can observe sheet one. So here we need to prepare sheets as per the instructions given. So first sheet is total sales. So copy the copy this part and rename the sheet. That's right. The first one is a create a bar chart showing the total sales analysis. The chart title is total sales of each subcategory. Copy this. Let's click on the bar chart. So here select a bar chart, bring it on and rename the chart name. Okay, that so what are the columns and rows we need to take up? Some of the total cost into the roles and category into columns. So I can drop the categories into columns and total cost into the rows. So we want some of the total cost into the rows. Okay. We already have the sum of total cost here. If you want to change any measure here instead of sum or something, just click on this arrow mark. 
square mark and in the measure you can change anything whatever you want like some or average median whatever according to the instructions okay so right now all we need is just sum of the total cost next one is add the subcategory column onto the color to divide the category bar into different subcategories so drag and drop the subcategory into color so this will differentiate the different subcategories so that's it i think we have a, there's one more thing i left i think okay looks similar copy the file name and save it to save it just click on uh, analysis view data and export all for saving you need to be careful because we have an output folder here to save so that's available in the project folder so this is the output data folder then we need to save these files so i have copy pasted the file name and just click on save that's it observe this file will be available here okay yeah. total sets so let's move on to the next sheet the so second sheet is average discount copy paste this sheet name the bottom you can see add a new sheet click on this and rename the sheet done chart title paste done now let's get into the options create a line chart for average discount okay we need a line chart color of the line should be dividing into different ship modes and filter on the category and select only office supplies different ship modes into the color the ship mode to the color got that and filter on the category only office supplies here at the top we have the category drag it to the filters and just select only office supplies okay this will filter the part and average of the discounts into the row and subcategory into the columns drag and drop the subcategory into columns click measures average that's done here we have the chart okay so now when you feel it was done just save the workbook copy analysis view data for all paste the file name that's done let's move on to the sheet number 3 which is total sales quantity sorry total quantity sales copy the sheet na sheet name add a new worksheet rename the sheet select the chart title rename the chart title Let's go into the instructions. Create a pie chart that consists of three pies. Okay. Select a pie chart. Have the pie here. Category into the columns. Okay, we have this. Now subcategory and the color, which will divide the pie into different parts. Okay, let's bring on. Subcategory into the color. We have got the subcategory into the color and some of the quantity onto the angle. Have the quantity here, drag it to the angle. Okay. We have the sum. There are no filters. Okay. Select the file name, 
copy analysis your data total total quantity save save that's it let's move on to the last one it name is five starter copy select a new sheet rename select the chart title here we need to create a heat map to so select a map from this name for chart name okay change the data type of the field state from string to state sound okay for the first point we need to bring on the page field into the detail we have the states right Let's bring this into the detail okay let it take a moment after bringing the state into the detail the rows and columns were auto populated as it have the details of latitudes and longitudes the next one is filter category and select only technology we have the category into the filter select only technology filter ship mode and select only same day have the ship mode here into the filter and select only same day Okay. Add maximum of total cost to the color and change the color to color diverging. This is the total cost. Bring it to the color and change its measure to maximum. And click on color and edit colors. And at the drop down, select temperature diverging. Click OK. So this will change the temperature. Okay. So now it's time to save this file as well. Correct file name, copy, analysis view data, export all. Yes, there. That's it. I think we have all the folders ready in here. So folders were saved. Then save the save the hackbook dot and run the test test extension file. It's ready. File and save. Okay, file got saved. Close all this. Go to the this application and double click on it. So it will run a normal test and it will give you the open ratio. Everything seems fine. Hit enter. So that's all the experiment. So the hands on part was completed. Now you can submit and wait for the wait for your confirmation about the course completion.